Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to assemble a triangle folder for a Kai Bar Pass or similar, AK-47. Um, what you see here is a flat that I have already bent and um, drilled, uh, indexed and drilled holes for the front trunnion, the center support, the axis pins have been reamed. Um, essentially every hole on the flat has been um, Drilled and reamed, the uh, trigger guard uh, and mag catch assembly has been riveted, as well as the um, the uh, bottom support piece. Um, so yeah, it's basically the front and rear trunnions are ready to be riveted on. There's a couple fitment uh, issues with regards to the side folding stock, and the first one I'm going to tackle from front to rear will be the front trunnion. And I will zoom in so you can see these are two front trunnions. The front or the lower one on the screen is from an AK-74 with the hole for the for the uh, latch uh, pivot pin has already been drilled. The one above it is for this build, which is an AK-47, and you will see that there the shelf is um, sitting more. Um, distal to the front of the uh, trunnion. In other words, the hole, if I can move to the side of the camera here and use my right hand, this hole needs to be drilled into this trunnion. And this shelf, this lower shelf, has a larger flat than this one, so the hole that I'm going to drill is going to be right on the edge of, of these two shelves. So in order to drill a straight hole, we need to cut a relief um, flat and um, then we can cut our centering hole and then our um, hole all the way through, through hole for the pivot pin. So just wanted to start with what a AK-47 um, trunnion looks like with the um, shelf as it sits um, right in line with where the hole needs to be drilled. So. I hope that makes enough sense to everybody. This is only my second um, AK build, so I am complete novice to all this, but uh, since I have a couple more kits to build, I figured I'd make a quick video on some of the differences that you might find and hopefully help you on your build. Okay, so we're set up ready to find uh, the edge of the front trunnion, so I will go ahead and start my lathe, my mill. You've never seen a nice crank up the speed a little bit. This is an edge finder. Just walk it in, and then when it kicks, I will zero X. One more time. Walk it in. Give it a little loop. Walk it in. Yeah, so that's zero. Zero. So I can go ahead, raise that up, move my X over a hundred. If you're familiar with an edge finder, they are two hundred thousandths in diameter. So I take the radius, which is a hundred, that'll put me on the edge of the front of the trunnion. Now I want to find the outside. For my Y, and I'll just use this flat right here since it's the same uh, on the same um, level as the side of the trunnion. So again, we come in, lock it, there's, boom, back it off, zero my Y, let's walk it in one more time, get a little wobble. Hard to see, probably, even from my point of view. Okay, that definitely kicked. So, back, a little backlash in there. Okay, again, first thing I do, zero my dross and walk it in. Hundred thousandths, and which is right there. And go ahead and zero that. So that's it, so far as I have my um, 
my X and Y axis at 0.0, .0 which would be this point. So let's go ahead and find where we're going to drill that hole next. Okay, so <clears throat> bring that down just a little bit, anchor it, a little more light, and then just raise the table. Okay, so um, I finished uh, removing the material off the shelf and now I have a nice flat in which to begin drilling my hole. So I will start with a countersink uh, centering bit and move on to a number 21 wire um, high speed steel drill bit. So let's get going. Okay, we're good. Okay, so switched over to a uh, number 21 wire uh, high speed steel. And uh, we're just going to make this a through hole, so there we go. So that should do it, and uh, here's the pin to just to verify for a takedown. Oh yeah, drops right in. Okay, so so far so good. On to the next step. Okay, so um, now we're gonna. Drill the hole for this uh, pivot pin for the latch. And uh, since we changed our setup, we're going to start again um, by finding our edge. Same as before. hole is going to line up with the hole in the trunnion, although this hole is supposed to be a six millimeter. Well, a six millimeter is about 236 thousandths of an inch, so I'm going to use a number, a letter A um, drill bit, which is 234 thousandths of an inch. I've measured I've measured this pin and it comes to slightly less so all we're going to do at this point is just do some fitment rather than buy a whole another six millimeter drill bit which I'll never use again. Slow it down just a little bit. That's all that we needed to do. So if everything is lined up correctly this pin should drop all the way down and and it does bingo okay so we're looking down the barrel end of the trunnion and if i just rock this camera up you can see the pivot pin for the latch going through the bottom of the receiver and into the hole, the through hole that we drilled in the front trunnion. So measure twice, cut once, and you should be good to go. Okay, so there's your final look at the um, front trunnion 
hole and you can see where the tool marks almost uh, created a, a complete circle. It's somewhat of a semicircle, and um, that's fine. I just wanted to flatten down that um, upper shelf so it was level with the uh, lower shelf and then I could drill my hole. And then the larger um, letter, letter A uh, drill um, hole that I drilled for the pin um, and deburr everything, otherwise it's very sharp, you're dealing with sheet metal. And um, so if you do it right, that's how it should look. Good luck with your build, and I hope you don't make uh, too many mistakes like me. All right.